Hello guys, it's your girl Candeli Kyla here back with another video. This is the What's in My Kid Stocking video of 2023. We're doing it again, guys. Um, I I told y'all last year and nothing has changed. I am still not a stocking connoisseur. I just do the best that I can. Um, this year I actually scaled back a lot on his stocking. I will be putting out our Christmas morning 2022 video uh, later this week because I realized I never put that out. And you guys will be able to see him open up his stocking on Christmas Eve and you will see just how much stuff I got him last year and it was ridiculous. His stocking maybe had 10 things in it and then there were like 40 additional things outside of the stocking and it just looks crazy. Like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have I have no words to even convey what was going through my mind at that time. Um, so this year is not going to be like that because honestly, a lot of that stuff that he got in his stocking, he didn't really play with that much. So I, I wanted to get him quality items this year, things that I felt like he would actually play with and enjoy. I didn't go too crazy on the candy. I got him like three or four candy items. And then everything else is like stuff that stuff that I think he will actually play with. Um, so if you don't know, if you're new here, I am a single mom to a four-year-old little boy named Josiah. And, you know, he, we're, we're best friends. That's my best friend, okay? And I do spoil my best friend um, for Christmas. And to all of you guys who watched my last video the what i got my kid for christmas video thank you guys so much i just y'all are the best people i'm so thankful for all of you who are on my little corner of the interwebs and who have left just so many awesome comments and all of the likes and all of the new subscribers i really 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 appreciate each and every single one of y'all um for just all the love that i got um on that video i love sharing what i got him for christmas um but his stocking is a different story, y'all. I'm not really not a good stocking shopper. Uh, I only started doing stockings two years ago now. Three years. Three years ago? Yeah, I think this is my third year doing uh, a stocking. And, you know, every year the goal is just progression, not perfection. Okay, I'm just trying to get a little bit better at the whole Christmas thing and especially the stocking thing. Um, so... Y'all let me know in the comments how you think I did. I think I did okay. Uh, I did not really re-up him on like his toothbrush. He already got one of those uh, recently, a new toothbrush. And yeah, he's good on toothpaste. I know that those are like essential stocking stuff or items. So those will not be included in this video because he's good in that area. Uh, but yeah, let me see here. Where do I want to start? So, I give him his stocking the night before Christmas because, you know, I just feel like on Christmas Day, I want him to run out there and rip into the gifts. We don't want to be worried about the stocking, at least over here. So, yes, I give him his stocking on Christmas Eve. And um, as a part of that, I do give him a few other things. But I think I'm going to wait till the end to show what those things are because all the stocking stuffer stuff is on top of those things so let's get through that first. so let me show y'all the stockings so these are our stockings that we use can y'all see that yes indeed i love these stockings josiah and mama my stocking is just for decoration y'all i never put nothing in there it's just for the aesthetic okay but i love these stockings because i hope it still works y'all let me see it lights up it lights up oh my god stockings have come a long way guys so i love these i love these i love these i love these this is from pottery barn i want to say i got these two years ago three three years ago y'all my years are getting all kind of mixed up but within the last three years i got these bad boys the lights still work uh-oh uh-oh turn it off there we go the lights do still work on these um, and they can hold 
a good bit of stuff you know they're durable i love these they were like 30 dollars a piece so a little pricey uh, but they always have sales for these stockings on pottery barn and they have a black santa version which is what i wanted to get but they were out when i was looking so traditional santa will work um but yeah y'all so i love our stockings i'm actually gonna put these down for the sake of this video and i'm gonna just actually i'm gonna hold one just to see if this stuff will actually fit i'm gonna try to stuff it while the video is going because last year was an epic fail on fitting all that stuff in here so we'll see how it goes so for his stocking he has like an avengers section on this side and a hot wheels section on this side because he loves monster trucks hot wheels cars um spider-man spidey and his amazing friends black panther all the things guys he is just a typical four-year-old and uh, i tried to get him things that i felt like he would play with and things that i know that he likes so i'm actually i think i'm gonna start over here on the spider-man oh my god y'all my candy is playing off okay well i guess they want it to be first so let's start over here okay so let's start with the candy so i didn't get him too much candy this year i got him three things because I don't want him hyped up off of sugar, y'all. And my son's really not, he, he's not really into like chocolate, even though I did get him some chocolate. He's more of a fruity, you know, candy kind of person. So I got him this Reese's Snowman from Five Below because I just feel like you gotta get them something shaped like, you know, Santa or uh, the gingerbread man or the nutcracker or a snowman. So this definitely fit the bill. It was, I don't know if this was $5, it might've been y'all. I'm hoping it was only three, but I think it was five at five below. And then I got him the Lint Santa. Isn't this so cute? I just love these. It's as big as my head. I'm hoping he won't eat this whole thing. He probably won't even be thinking about the chocolate. Honestly, when he gets the stocking, he's going to be playing with everything else that he got. But you got to get your kid a little Santa candy, okay, for the stocking. This is a quintessential thing. One thing I am missing that I'm, I left five below and I was like, dang, why didn't I get that? It's the little candy canes. They be stuffed with candy. I don't have one this year. Will my son care? No, but I know that it's not in there. So that's gonna bother me. So I may go to Walmart and just get him one that's like stuffed with M&Ms or something. Cause I feel like you gotta have that in your stocking. For his last candy item, I told y'all I didn't go too crazy on the candy. I got him this SpongeBob SquarePants Krabby Patties Gummy Candy. And it looks like a little Krabby Patty. My son is obsessed with burgers and fries. He doesn't like to eat burgers, but he thinks that they're cool to look at. So, uh, you know, just trying to give him what he wants. So I got him this little Krabby Patty thing. It's like you open it up and it's like a bunch of little Krabby Patty gummies. He doesn't even watch SpongeBob, so I don't think he'll get that, uh, get that this is from SpongeBob SquarePants, but he will care that it is a burger, so super cute five below all of that candy was from five below i don't know if i said that already okay so next up i'm not gonna get to the monster trucks and the hot wheels just yet let me put that over there so i got him this little thing which i am already regretting from walmart it was 268 and it's just jingle bells and I thought it was so cute at the time like I'm barely moving it and it's jingling so this is going to be a loud toy parents assess your home before you buy this assess if this is something that you are willing to put up with okay it's cute I'm hoping it'll be one of the lesser played with items because like I said I'm kind of regretting putting this in my cart at the time, I thought it was a great idea. You would have to go back and ask Shakila from that moment what she was thinking, because the me right now is saying, why? Why would you do that? Um, but yeah, it says for ages three plus. So if your kid is three or older, cause you know, you don't want, I don't know if these are sturdy and may come off these little bills. So three or older, or if your kid for sure won't put something in their mouth, I would recommend this. And also if you don't mind the little noise, okay? So that is something that I picked up from Walmart. And then I also got this from, this is from Five Below. If you watch my What I Got My Kid For Christmas video, you know that my son loves 
Batman sort of kind of. So he found the Batman section at Five Below and he wanted Robin. He does not have a Robin, y'all. And if you saw my last video, you know that he's getting quite a few Batman things. And I feel like this Robin will come in handy for a few of the gifts that he is going to be getting. So I was happy when I saw him point this out and I was glad I could snag it up for him. Now, let me go back. I did mention I'm a single mom. So some of this stuff he already knows he's getting because he was with me when I bought it. He pointed it out. I picked it up. Then I just tucked it away in the hopes that he'll forget that he mentioned this. So hopefully he'll forget about Robin and when he sees it again, he'll be all like, oh my God. Um, but this will go really good with that Batman playset. I think Robin is kind of he's a little bit taller than the other figurines, but I'm sure Josiah will figure out a way to make it all work. All right, so now we're going to get into the Hot Wheels. So I mentioned how Dollar Tree is the goat for Hot Wheels cars. If you have a Hot Wheels loving kid, you need to be running. Stop, stop the video. Stop the video right now. Get in your car. Hop on your hoverboard and go to Dollar Tree and get you Hot Wheels cars. These are all new. Well, one of them. It says one of them is new for 2023, but the other ones are really nice. Okay, I have a Batman card here, a Jurassic World card here, and one of the new releases for Hot Wheels. I only paid a dollar twenty-five for these. So if you have a kid who loves Hot Wheels cars, this is you can do their whole collection at Dollar Tree. Okay, so this one right here is the Xperia Motors Braille Racer. Whoa, how cool! And it says braille because i don't know if y'all can see the little dots but yeah there's actually braille on the packaging for our blind counterparts they can also like fill that and know what kind of car this is how nice and inclusive oh hot wheels i didn't even know if they had that yes indeed guys so i love this i think my son is going to think that's a cool little car there and then we have Batman, of course. This is the Batman, the animated series car. They're super like flat. Never seen a Hot Wheel like this before. Again, Dollar Tree, y'all, Dollar Twenty Five. And lastly, I got him the Giganotosaurus because if you watched my last video, you know that he is getting the Giganotosaurus, um, the big version. Um, so one thing I like to do and this is like just something that I know that I'm doing. I don't think he'll pick up on it just yet at four, but I like to give him toys in his stocking that allude to something he is getting on Christmas. So like this alludes to the Giganotosaurus. The Robin alludes to the Batman playset. This little car alludes to the uh, Batman RC car that he's getting. So there's a reason behind everything that I'm putting in his stocking this year, i.e. trying to be intentional. Um, so yeah, so next up is going, oh, let me go back. I got him this little pack of Hot Wheels from Target. This was like $5, y'all. Um, I just feel like this is something that has to go in your stocking. One of those either mystery packs of Hot Wheels or these things should go in the stocking. Like I said, $5.69 at the local Target and they had a lot of different options. Um, so if you have a Hot Wheels loving kid, what version is this? The Street Beast just look really cool and he has a monster truck that is like this exact same make of this car so I thought that was really cool that he would have like a car version of the monster truck that he already has so I think he's gonna love it he has like a bajillion Hot Wheels so really anything to add to his collection he is like he's gonna be good with so now we're gonna get into the monster trucks I got him okay so let me give y'all a little backstory my son this is like, it's like three weeks before Christmas at the filming of this video. My son came up to me like two days ago and said, can you tell Santa I want a hundred monster trucks for Christmas? <sighs> What's wrong with these kids? What is you talking about? A hundred must like that. Okay, so I counted the monster trucks that he has. He has 56 monster trucks. If I can do math correctly, that means he is expecting Santa, right? To come up with 44 additional monster trucks in three weeks i mean i can do hard things 
but that's not on the list of things I want to do right now. Um, so I decided to get him just a few that I found. And y'all, Five Below is the place to be if you have a Monster Shelex loving kid. I cannot believe it. I don't know why I be forgetting about Five Below for things like this, but they had some really cool, unique looking Monster Shelex that I have not seen really anywhere else. So let me show y'all what I found for him. So I got him the Carbonator XXL. And this bad boy is like glow in the dark, I think. And it's got, oh wait, this one came, wait, did this come from TJ Maxx? Okay, so this one came from TJ Maxx actually. For some reason, I'm not remembering buying that, but it was $5.99. I looked up the sticker, so it's $5.99 y'all at TJ Maxx, this one. The rest of them that I'm gonna show you came from Pablo. Uh, but this is super cool. He does not have this one and it looks like there's like a cat face on the monster truck. Never seen this in the store anywhere. Um, not even at like Walmart, you guys, or Target. So when I saw it, I was like, oh yes, snagged it up. So I think he's definitely gonna love this one. So we're at 57 monster trucks okay and then this one was from five below it's called will trash it all and it kind of looked like spongebob to me that's what attracted me to it it's giving spongebob vibes it has nothing to do with spongebob but does that not look like does that give spongebob vibes to y'all i think it is and then this is his little face i think it's cute never seen this one either in the stores so i'm like yo he is gonna lose it this one I just saw recently at Walmart, but it's called Tuck and Roll. So it's got, I'm not really sure what's going on here, <laughs> uh, to be honest. It's just kind of like a bike. Yeah, it's a three-wheeler. That's what it is. Okay, yeah. Never seen a monster truck like this. I just recently saw this at Walmart and it was only one that was kind of mixed in with the others. But um, like I said, I did get this from Five Below. So check both places if you feel like your kid may like that. I'm loving the vibrant colors here on the monster trucks. And then the last one I got him is Bigfoot. And it's just like a regular kind of race car looking monster truck. It has the number 75 on the top. So I think he's gonna love that. He does not have this one in his collection. I was actually looking for him the Barbie monster truck because if you watched my last video, you know that he watches this show here on YouTube called Kid to Kid and they had a Barbie monster truck and he really wanted that one. But I like, I can't find it anywhere and on Amazon and stuff, it's expensive. So I had seen somebody say that they saw it at Five Below. So originally that's why I went there looking for it but then I found all these other ones and I'm like five below is the hot spot for the monster trucks so he is gonna love these so these monster trucks allude to the Thunder Roarist drop that he is gonna be getting for Christmas but he doesn't know it yet so he'll get to race these along with his other let me see it I had 56 before I just showed y'all four so now he has 60 monster trucks guys that's what we're gonna do can't get him to 100 but I can get him to 60 so I think he'll be just as happy uh, with that okay so I'm gonna hold off on this stuff until the end so now we're gonna move over here to um, the Marvel Spider-Man section so this right here came from Dollar Tree you guys my son is obsessed with Spidey and his amazing friends and I saw this and I was like it's just cute it's a dollar 25 so I'm gonna snag it up it is a three pack of crayons my son I don't know that he necessarily needs crayons but the aesthetic okay get into the aesthetic that is why we bought this i love this i think he's gonna think it's pretty cool uh, that he's got spidey crayons and i let me see if this will even fit <gasps> hey it went it went okay i didn't even try to stuff the rest um i didn't think that was gonna fit y'all okay i love it so we got a winner with the spider-man crayons the next thing I got him is this Spidey and his amazing friends mystery egg. You gotta have a mystery egg in your stocking. It could be the LOL surprise little eggs. It could be the Dino Smashers little eggs, but you gotta have something surprise. What's up in here? What does it say? Mashems. 
it's giving, I can't quite, but it's not a hard thing that's in here. Maybe it's like, just like a little squishy. Oh, it is. It's a little squishy. So he could get one of six of these things in here. So it comes with Doc, or it could come with Doc Ock, uh, Miles Morales, Ghost Spider, Spider-Man, Black Panther, or a mystery person, which who knows who that could be. It could be Green Goblin, it could be Iron Man, it could be Hulk, it could be any one of the other characters from um, Spidey and His Amazing Friends. So I think he's going to be super duper excited to see who he got. This was $1.99 at Target, y'all. So snag one or a few up for your kiddo if they love Spidey and His Amazing Friends. I got him a Spider-Man jump rope. My son recently learned how to jump rope. He's not that great at it just yet give him time okay give him some time but he's definitely on his way to learning so when i saw this at dollar tree i was like i gotta get him this so spidey and his amazing friends jump rope can't go wrong with it and i think he's really going to have a lot of fun jumping rope with me what i do is i tie one end to the fence that we have and then i hold the other and i loop it around for him and he's actually gotten pretty good Still a couple falls here and there, but he's getting better. So I think this will encourage him to keep trying for it. I got him this. Let me, let me check this out real quick. See, see, now we run into some. Oh, maybe if I. It fits. A win is a win. A win is a win, y'all. So I got him a Lego Marvel Spidey and His Amazing Friends uh, 48 piece set. My son is not super duper into Legos. I did get him some Legos though for Christmas. So this alludes to the Lego classic set that he will be getting for Christmas. Um, but I figured this would be nice for us to try to do. It's 48 pieces, so kind of small. Um, it's for ages four plus, which he is four. So we're gonna give it a whirl and see how he does, but it includes Doc Ock, and Spider-Man, this could also allude to the Hot Wheels track that he got. Double, double entendre, is that what they say? Anyway, double whammy for this one. So I'm really, really, really excited to give him this. He loves Doc Ock, or is that who that says? Yeah, yeah, he loves Doc Ock, so I'm super duper excited to give this to him i'm just a little worried that i'll be the one building this and i'm not that good at legos either so this might be a problem but keep us in your prayers we'll see how it goes but yes it does it fits inside of the stocking guys i don't know if all of this will fit in there but the big items that i was a little bit worried about are actually fitting this year so we're on we're on the right path here so next up i got him these things and i'm really 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 shocked did y'all know that Walmart has like a dollar spot in their store? And I don't know if it's just mine, but I just found this out like recently. And so I got these from the Walmart dollar spot section. That's like in the front of their store, like Target's dollar spot. Crazy. Um, but it is this Spider-Man wall tumbler. So you toss them at the wall and they walk down. So you get Spider-Man and Venom. I hope that this is a hit. I hope that it works. I hope that they stick to the wall. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know. <laughs> it seemed cool and I knew that he liked Spider-Man. So I said, you know, we'll give it a whirl. It was a dollar. Cannot beat it. So that is that. And then of course, y'all, I had to get him something Black Panther because we love Black Panther. We are Wakandans as far as I am concerned. So I saw this also on the dollar spot uh, at, or at the dollar spot at Walmart and it is the Black Panther Wakanda Forever two pack of magnets. I, oh, I love it. I love it so much. And I think that this one was $3. This was not a dollar, but it's so cute. And my son is obsessed with magnets. He, anytime he brings home something from school, I put it on the refrigerator. Um, I'll tack it up there. And so now we can add Black Panther to that side of the refrigerator where all of the little all his school stuff is and Black Panther will be right in the mix. So I love this. If I don't know how the Walmart dollar spot works. I don't know if what's at mine will be at yours, but definitely just go and see if you can find it or maybe something similar uh, at your Walmart. So lastly, 
we're getting into the figurines so i got him just a couple from five below these were over five dollars because y'all know five below has a five and up section <laughs> as well uh but i got him this is the ultimate spider-man looks like the miles morales version of spider-man and it was 5.95 and then he got war machine which he doesn't have war machine he has iron man but he don't have war machine so yes 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 when i saw this i was like oh my god i've never seen a war machine figurine anywhere and it was just sitting there at five below so these were 5.95 a piece these are a part of the avengers titan hero series so if you want to go search for these or go to your five below or look on amazon or whatever that's what you need to type in but the war machine one is rare y'all i have not seen this anywhere I see a lot of Spider-Man, okay? But War Machine is like hit or miss. So if you have a War Machine or Iron Man obsessed, obsessed little kid, this this is the one right here. So I think he's gonna love that. Let me see if this fits in here. So individually they are fitting into the stocking, but we gonna run into a problem when I try to squeeze all of them in there together. So I might have some stuff sitting outside the stocking again this year, but. You know, we, we better. Progression. Progression. All right, so the last thing that I got him, y'all, is my favorite thing. And this will not, this ain't gonna fit in the stocking. So I may have to take these out. It is this Marvel Bath Time Body Wash set. Look at this. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. Look at this. Okay, so it comes with Spider-Man, Iron Man, Hulk, and Black Panther for $10, y'all. This was at Walmart. They had a, it was like a $5 and up section when you first walk in. If you go to the left, it's past a little dollar spot, but they had like three or four aisles of Christmas things that were like $10 and below-ish. And I saw this and they had Ninja Turtles sets just like this. Who else did they have? It was like Ninja Turtles and maybe was it Toy Story as well that they had like this. Different variations of this. Some of them had like lotion in these. Some of them just had the body wash. Run to your Walmart and see if they have this. But oh my God, I love it. And it comes with fruit punch, watermelon, grape, and apple. So those are the scents that you get with these. Even if my son doesn't use them as the body wash, just to have these as like decoration in his bathroom, it's going to be a win, y'all. Get into it. $10 for this. You need to run to Walmart and pick this up. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to take them out individually and throw them in his stocking, which is fine with me. But I'm like, I'm obsessed with these. I'm obsessed with these. So that is my favorite thing that I got him for his stocking. So that is actually everything that's supposed to go inside of the stocking. <sighs> so now we're gonna get into the additional things I told you I'm gonna be giving him with his stocking. So went to Walmart and I was looking for a gingerbread house. Um, didn't find one that was already pre-made cause I, I'm terrible at building gingerbread houses. So I only ever do the pre-made ones, but I didn't see none, but I did find this. So it's a gingerbread decorating kit by the brand Play-Doh. And we love Play-Doh. This is a, this alludes to um, the Play-Doh that he, <laughs> the Play-Doh that he is getting um, on Christmas, the Play-Doh kitchen set, and then like the re-up on his Play-Doh. But he does not know that just yet. Um, so what it is, is I don't think the icing is Play-Doh. It's like fondant that you can, use yes like edible paint to make the cookies so we're going to use this to make the cookies that we're going to leave out for santa um, on christmas eve so instead of us baking our usual nestle toll house we're going to do this activity uh on christmas eve together and make some really cool little cookies and this little set was like 13 dollars, you guys so instead of doing gingerbread houses this year this is what we'll be doing i think he'll enjoy it, it looks really nice seems easy enough because like the whole building of a house just is not my forte i suck at it my son's not the greatest at it and uh, i really can't help him if his house falls apart when we're trying to build the gingerbread houses so this is like standard cookie really can't mess it up look at that they did some really cool stuff on here somebody made a wreath 
a little present. I don't know if we'll be that fancy y'all, but whatever we put out, Santa's gonna love. So then the last couple things is um, our Christmas pajamas. So normally we do matching pajamas uh, for Christmas Eve, like identical matching pajamas. But this year just, I couldn't find any that I liked to be honest. Um, so my son has become obsessed with the Grinch. Like he loves the Grinch, is obsessed with the Grinch this year. And I'm, I'm here for it. The Grinch is a great movie. It's funny. He likes the animated version more than the Jim Carrey version, but I'm good with either one. Um, so I decided we would do Grinch themed Christmas pajamas. So my son is going to be the Grinch. I got this from Target and it comes with like the little Grinch hood. Oh, how cute. Um, and this was like, let me see y'all. Let me not tell y'all just any old thing. It says $18. And I got him a small because he's a tall four-year-old. I probably should have got an extra small. But whatever. It'll keep him warm and cozy. Uh, but this was not, I think this was like $15. Or maybe it was $13. Anywhere from $13 to $15 on Target's website. Um, I had to order it. It had to be shipped to me because it wasn't available in store. But they should still have some available online if you're interested. And then for my pajamas, I got these, I'm just going to show you the shirt. The pants are matching. This Grinch little doodad right here from TJ Maxx. Here are the pants. So that is going to be my set to kind of match his. So we're matching, but not identical. This was $20 at TJ Maxx. And then I was on the hunt for us some Grinch like slippers or socks or something and I just I went on Amazon and they want to charge $30 for one pair of socks is y'all crazy so no I went to TJ Maxx and I found us this thing it is a mug and sock combo I only <laughs> bought it for the socks really but it was $7.99 for the mug and two pairs of socks so Josiah will get a pair and I will get a pair and that'll be that on that so that is everything that he will be getting on christmas eve he'll get the things in his stocking and then his pajamas and the gingerbread making kit so another year in the books for the stocking video i hope y'all got some really really good ideas uh like i said my next video that i'm putting out is going to be the christmas 2022 video uh, so you guys can kind of see what our christmas was like last year because i forgot to put it out and then I am undecided on if I'm going to do a rap with me because I suck at rapping, you guys. And I just, everything is big. Everything is big that he is getting this year. And that means it's hard to rap. And for somebody like me who sucks at rapping, I just don't know if I'm quite comfortable putting that out on the interwebs for y'all to see me really struggling. Because, mm, it is a struggle. Um, but I may. I don't know. I'm, I'm still really trying to figure that out. Um... But that is a wrap on the What's in My Kids stocking video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.